Police continue to search for the vandals who caused hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of damage at Hollywood Cemetery over the weekend. Headstones toppled over, crosses are knocked off of graves, and police say that they need help to find out who's responsible for all of this destruction. On your side tonight at 6, Desiree Montilla is at the cemetery with what investigators are saying about this case so far. And Desiree, when you look at this, you just think, how could someone do, do something like this? And now we're just wondering who did it. Any leads? Well, Makia, what you said exactly is what police were telling us this morning. About $200,000 worth of damage was done here to graves at the President's Circle. As you can see here right behind me, crosses knocked off those graves onto the walkway and some headstones toppled here. An act of vandalism. Many say they're shocked and saddened to see. Sad. It's heartbreaking that, that it's come to this point. An act of vandalism, leaving behind devastating damage to graves at the President's Circle in Hollywood Cemetery and leaving residents like Kenneth Harlow shocked. To me, it symbolizes hate. You know, it, 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 I know we're in tough times and I know that we have a lot going on, but unity is when we come together. Richmond police say the vandalism happened shortly after one early Saturday morning. Headstones were toppled and crosses were knocked off graves, causing $200,000 worth of damage. That included uh, what appears to be a, using a sledgehammer to knock over headstones and uh, using black spray paint to spray paint uh, some of the headstones as well too. Uh, with graffiti. Police did not reveal how many suspects they're looking for or how many graves were damaged, only saying they didn't have markings of the Confederacy on them. They also say the resting places for President James Monroe and President John Tyler were not vandalized. Regardless of where the grave is or whose grave it is, that is something that I don't believe the citizens of Richmond um, can tolerate. It is a place for loved ones and family to come visit not for us to come investigate crimes. A case Harlow says calls for change. We got to find some kind of term to stop the destruction and build our city back up and stop tearing it down.